Welcome to another dope episode of VIP Access. I'm coming to you live and direct from Nairobi Street Kitchen. Thank you so much for hosting us here. Today I'm super excited because I'm about to interview an all-rounder. He's a really dope artist and multi-talented. He's a singer, songwriter, music producer, music engineer, music director, and all those things. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm really honored to be interviewing this individual who I've really loved his music and I've finally gotten a chance to talk to him today. Uh, it's Mutoria. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Anyeko, for that uh, introduction. Mutoria, you're so dope. You are so dope. Like, I think I got to know you from, like, when you were 18 or 19. Um, and now you're, like, 26. So I've actually known you for quite some time. And I think it was Bien who introduced me to you. And that time, like, nobody knew. I didn't know you. And it was, like, this young kid is going to take over. At that point, I think... Uh, I think you were playing for them or st started playing for them or I, I don't know if you're producing something. What were you doing um, at the age of 19 um, and what were you doing with Saudi Soul then? Yeah, I think it was right before we started working with them permanently. Okay. Before I started working with them as a keyboardist, as the official keyboardist mm -hmm. and a producer as well yeah, for, for the song. So I think to the partner now we work with VST, the offices. Yes. Uh, when there was a jam session, when they were still scouting yeah. for guys to, um, to they were betting, yeah, they yeah, were betting yeah, yeah. so that they can know who, yeah. who to sign. Yeah. yeah, I think it was around that time. And then it was also around the time when you got on Coke Studio Africa. Um, you were there on a special episode where you're producing music alongside another young dope producer from um, Young DLC. So, um, yeah, tell me about that. And, and how was that moment for you? Because at that point, you were already active as a producer. You know, you kick-started a very uh, popular challenge. Um, and that led to one thing and another. And you got on Coke Studio. So tell me about that opportunity. Coke Studio was... It's very, very significant to me in my life because it made me... It gave me the courage I needed to release my own music and to, you know, to feel confident about what I'm doing as an artist. Because before I went to Coke Studio as a music producer, nilikuwa nataka, nakumuka nilikuwa na aspire kucheza Coke Studio as an instrumentalist. Because you know, that's, that's what I was, I've, I've been good at for a long time. Yeah. And I'm always comfortable playing keys and in the background. And like, I really like that position because see spotlight. And before Coke Studio, that's, you know, I was okay with, with that kabisa. Um, so na kumbuka nilikuwa nataka kukua kukua studio kama, kama instrumentalist. And then they called me because of a challenge I had done online, something I did with, within three... The producer's challenge. The producer's challenge. There's a challenge, uh, I made Kenya challenge, that was started by Kevin Provoke. Shout out to Kevin Provoke. Anafanya project zingine kali sana sahi. Bidu unafaku imu interview. I know, right? Umoja sounds. Chiki chiki. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So, Kevin Provoke started this challenge. And, kumbe wa Kenya manze wanapenda vitu zao. Nivenye, maybe we don't, I don't know. I don't know what, 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 what is there, but niliamua. Ntakwatu niki pewase content as much as possible. And, so, I made Kenya challenge was one of those things zenye wase walipenda sana. So I made that thing overnight. Nikiamka like 10, 11, it was everywhere. Everyone was like, yo, what is this? This is so dope. And if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest with you, this is the baby show, so nice as I'm okay. Mimi, siku wana feel kama ni extra sana, unajua. I was doing me. But when you see the comments and like what, how you've inspired other people, na chenye wana sema about the music, it's, it's amazing, but me and Kifanya and too, because, you know, that's what I do. You know? Just having a good time. Having a good time, if I'm being honest, yeah. So I put it out, and then now, when the Coke Studio is going to come, I am going to come, I am going to make record over the years, and I plan to release Lini. I usually have a short window of... Um, energy ya kufanya vitu so nikipata energy i just want to ni pump i pump it 
exactly can interviews with fanya zote cuz now there are times i don't want to see people i don't you know yes. this is a good time this is a very good time <laughs> by the way kila time nafikira kusu interview nafikira ndai watch baadaye and i be like that was eh? that was a good time you know um so before the cox studio episode was aired i was like eh first of all i don't want people to look for look up my name and there's nothing online uh so i shot the, uh, like a short visualizer for the masai pa trap which is what i named that kajam session i did and then i also decided with this ka cloud ya cox studio nitatoa album pia eh before he was very smart yeah I mean, you are very smart. Come on. <laughs> Who is doing all those things like and at that age like seriously, let's talk about that. Like wow, the talent is immeasurable. And I remember coming to uh there was a launch party for your album Dive In. It was so well curated. I think your parents were there. Yeah, my, my, my like my whole family was there. My shosho was there. Uh my aunties were there, my cousins were there. My my cousins were the one doing security. <laughs> Some of them were quite ticketing uh, Ben Solo there like everyone I had worked with actually Simon Mina also is one who helped me around that time as well we worked with him so he told me now all these favors you've been collecting this is the time to capitalize on them sasa hizo favors zote umekoki au asani wote umefanya vitu au asani wote sasa this is the time now and they showed up for you they really did they really did I'm so grateful for all of them yeah So um it was really great to see your entire family paka show show you know coming to support and it showed me um because even at that point you were still younger than you are now it showed me that you're in a family that supports you and they seem to understand you and what you're doing but it's always like an african problem not even a kenyan problem that our parents are like unafanya nini like you're not going to an office you're not doing 9 to 5 so how did you get to this point with your family wana ku support you and they trust you like this i'm a they the ones who actually started nurturing you from an early stage but i'd like to know about the relationship with the famo first of all shout out to my dad he was there at the the, the event as well and we actually performed with him oh yes yes you sang with your father yeah. oh it was so special so um my parents have been the best my dad is exceptional sai nikimfikiria ndio na kuanga like wa umse by the way msa like I'm different if you think about like all these other parents and how they were par- they used to parent their kids and he really made he really put us in a position where we were comfortable with him me and my small sister I have one sister um and to keep grow up near bado ni nifunza kucheza kids and nikiki have conversations na yesa hizi nikiwa mtu mkubwa nika realize ilikuwa intentional and his plan was i have something that can earn me money a skill that can i can live off when i'm older so that was his plan so yeah when you're older and you're even still living and you're already living it off when you're still young nimejaribu vitu mingi nimeuza masimu nime eh kuna time nilifungua company ya kuran errands like your time before like hizi manduthi na maubazi come through yeah like i've tried hey, i've done farming hey, in katokwa do i am telling you as in i've tried a lot of things but music is in the many kubali if i'm being honest and that's oh. I, i live off <laughs> Motoria, you're such an inspiration. I'm going to be showing you some of the things that happen behind the scenes. But right about now I want to talk about something which is very special to you. Yes. Something which is really amazing and out there already. It is the happiness yes. collaborative effort between you and Irosh um and your cousin. <laughs> and my cousin, shout out to my cousin. Come on, no me and my cousin entertainment. I'm me and he's the cousin. I'm a vice versa at Jay Kwashua who is who but I could also be the cousin he's me and I'm the cousin me and my cousin fantastic fantastic I guess you guys can feel the vibe and it go too happy you know it's 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 a it's a nice season um it's a great season for you there's a reason why the album is called happiness tell me about the inspiration to this album you know some of the songs that you vibe to the zenyo una feel I love coffee and bread yes. right and also my track so tell me which ones are the ones you're vibing with the most and 
inspiration to the name of this album? So we decided to call it Happiness because <laughs> I personally haven't written a lot of happy songs, but that's a feeling also we are supposed to endorse. But Kawasani most times na kutanga ile time. Okay, mimi na kutanga ile time ni nataka kuandika sana ni ile time ni meumia. Uh, but e album in a represent his season na happiness na try to kuji discover every single song up ivo it's very personal to us in ile album ata ikipata two plays ni sawa cuz it's like we're doing it more for us than for the people like coffee and bread was a song we uh, wrote in 2016 with Arosh about just that coffee and bread in inongya kusu venye that time, I like want to expect so much of him. Mm -hmm. And you know, that time we were still, you know, starting out. So, Nikajani too, yeah, you know, Joa. So, song in Asamanga, it's not very true, ni art, but in Angyanga Kusu, Benye, Anna take, Anna have Kukula, coffee and bread, and you are the for this if it is in Ines and Yadem, I can attack her. Yeah. And there's a song up for in it, our happiness, which is exactly that. Eros nearly and Anzakuyandika, and it was like it, that's what he was winning at that time. And you know, we want to get into that a bit more. And I also wrote another song and uh, to me released last month, and it was a love song. Okay. Um, I'm sure you've seen the, the yes. music video for it as and, well. And, and it's so great. And I was waiting to hear this sound from Mutoria, yeah. but it's so funny because you think it's a ma piano, and then you listen to it, and it's like another Mutoria song. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that song Pia, it was very intentional like we a good song. Jupia Siki and the time you call relationship or whatever. But like I want to be more intentional about, you know, writing good things and speaking good things into my life as well. Very nice. What about vibrations? New vibration Pia is song Erosh Pia and Dika in actually E P to Metaka Kui release for a long time, since like 2017, 2016. So I think New Vibration, uh, it was written in 2015. Yeah. It was a full song, but we were house, so it's just, it's just that, we were to proclaim, hey, where? Proclaim, proclaim, I never leave you. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Kimende people. Yeah, so, that's all it says. I'm on a new vibration. Nice. Can't take me down. No, 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 nice, no. Nice, that's it. Nice, like, nice. that's the whole song. I'm really happy to hear you sing, you know, on this album, on the previous album. Because before the previous album came out, Dive In, which I absolutely loved. Oh, Yani Uli Tushika, Vizuri na your album. Before that, we didn't really know, I didn't really know what Mutoria sounds like. You know, I knew the kind of artists you are, the kind of songs you produce. But I was like, okay, how does it sound? And then when I heard the sound, I was like, wow, I really want to get used to his voice so that I know that's Mutoria when I hear it somewhere. And now it's been quite a nice run for that album. It has happened. It's been a very nice run. And I even hear songs playing. I, I want to shout out to my producer, me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, whatever you're saying. Yes, it's been a nice run for um, the album in the sense that sometimes I put on the radio and they're playing some music. Uh, there's a very instrumental song on the album. I hear it sometimes on Capitol. I'm the one with Zenia. Ah, shout out to Chao. I'm, I, I'm sorry, I haven't listened to radio in a minute, yeah. but thank you for playing my music yes. when you're on a chaser. And for those guys streaming my music here yeah. online, yeah. Eh, manze, I'm so grateful. Yeah. So you talked about um, the fact that in 20, around 19, you were not so confident um, you know, to put out your music or to sing. Um, how would you say things have changed now? Like, Do you feel like uh, you're confident enough? Are you, you know, happy to jump on stage and sing to your fans? Or because you double in so many things around the music industry, where do you find your sweet spot? Um, my comfort zone, always in Akwanga. He is a music directing behind the scenes. Minika Owen Palevo. I'm a DJ Grafa Humphrey. Nime grow kupenda pia kukua artist because then I get control of what I'm doing. Yeah, and I think by Chitwenye Ilifanyani, 
maybe confidence ipotea but that's kwa nimejua ni confidence imepotea it's cuz i joined sauti academy and then i met all these amazing people and i was like i there are so many talented people like do you even need my voice there ya kujaribu unajua it's like ah, there's no point uh, but uh, like when i did those projects and like they got good reception i was like okay maybe you know maybe i should not die with what i have inside actually nikitoa david nilikuwa nshapanga uliza simon ndo alikuwa amejam na yesu ningwa mamambia nataka tu two years as an artist and i'm out like ni kam i do everything an artist should do and can do and then zup ni retire ni continue kufanya production i'm like yeah because as an artist i'm not i'm an introvert i'm an ambivert i think i'm more of an introvert so I'm not very good with the spotlight. I've ni me have kulan kukua huyo mse ni me have kulan kukua mse mwenye kwa hapo hivyo mbele kwa kwa stage ni perform. Huni pe anxiety mbaya before show yenye mimi na naimba. Ni kana cheza keys kuna anxiety but see as much as Nikki perform kama an artist but it's also been like really great working with Kina Sauti for 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 and a half years and i'm always i'm like a sponge i'm always just na na learn to kill wakati hata tukiona hapa hivi kuna vitu na learn and it may come in handy are you still working with sauti so not as a keyboardist yeah yeah but like as a producer in some projects kuna vitu kuna ep tumefanya na bn kali mnafanya kuisikia um i also easy ep zote actually um I did a thing or two in, in them. Ukiangalia kwa credits utaona hapo hivyo. Motore motore yeah and some tracks in all of them actually. Yeah. So so basically um the most recent collaborations you've done with Saudi Soul is production on various songs um in their EPs and albums under the Alone Together project. Um and could you just name drop for me sasa hapa kidogo unajua like some of the big tunes that you have co-produced I'm a produced one of my favorite ni shine your hair it's a crown balmen uh, anthem um kuna gani nyingine sababisha ah, i love sababisha you produce sababisha yeah we, okay it was we co-produced with um the yeah, savara um that one is my favorite song okay sababisha is my song yeah and, uh, i listen to it all the time and then pia I, the video was dope I listened to that ending yeah. ah I listened to it like all the time Pia Polycap the I did keys Polycap I didn't like wash up produce Polycap man I like wash up produce kila kitu but ni sad to Mutoya bring your keys <laughs> exactly so I did keys for track na Ben Solent Bien Aibu Aibu Tik Tais as well You produce Aibu Oh my goodness Tik Tais is also really dope you produce that too yeah. What did you not produce that I should have asked that question <laughs> <laughs> no. But the song the one with Inviri Rumba Japan Ah yes like Yes 20 people co credits <laughs> That's why I ended up with uh, one of vocalist Rumba which is like one of their biggest track actually. Yes. Mm. Have you seen how people go crazy when they are performing it? Am I when it's played out? I saw it at Soul Fest. I could not believe it. Any when it was DJ was it was exclusive. Eh, it drop manze wase wali go ham. How does it feel like for you in that moment? It's priceless. Kwanza nili sikuwa nime notice until time flani tumepanda math na my mom after a long time tulikuwa tunaenda mbali. So can get mad and then it like a kiss. I love it as a song me produce. No like hey, hey, mama mama me produce your goma. And then ni, ni my mama got to like okay. <laughs> I mean yeah unajua ile yeah. Yeah my baby yeah. But unajua kwake iko to. And then now in that moment ni realize oh snap isn't of it ni likuwa nataka kitambo like ni kwa high school ni kwa like eh naweza nataka produce ngoma. It is a quite a deal. And then nimekuwa in it so much hadi I haven't thought about it. Yeah, so it's really it's 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 very it's fulfilling. And 
you know inafanya utake ku ku live in the moment more Mm. So what else does Mutoria want to um, do you know and achieve because you are such a young achiever unajua so many producers who have in the game for a long time na hata bado hajasikia ngoma zao zikichezwa like kiss ama watu wa kijam hivyo festival mzima watu wana go crazy because of what they produce but you're not just lucky to be that one but i think you are t- too skilled and talented and that's why you produce the way you produce not just luck i mean uko tu so good in what you do so like okay. what next like nini tena eh mikona mikona ideas mob kwa kichwa so my ultimate goal is to be successful and successful means what success means to me is to be able to do what you want when you want it so stage one ni kuweza ku create a brand a strong brand so that i can live off it and then you know, just make my own money so that i don't have to go to cg which corporate to tell them to fund me for ama ukienda unaambia oh i've already put in 10 mic in this project i need five you know ama brand in a grow to a certain level that they come looking for you paka unaambia bado niko busy na hao am nitafute after two because i'm already working on something unajua yeah and actually that's something else also been like really insisted and taught me the best investment you can make is on yourself yeah so that's what i'm doing bien he taught me a lot as well yeah i never give him enough credit but bien taught me a lot and another beautiful thing happening to you right now is not just the release of this album um happiness but it's the fact that you're a daddy you're a dad now yeah. Tell me about that when did, when did, did this happen this is obviously a covid baby this is eh mulikuwa unatengeneza muziki kwa studio ukifanya nini eh unajua mambo ya mungu huwezi panga eh huwezi panga now you're calling now you're calling on jesus huwezi <laughs> panga mambo ya mungu but you know, i have like the most beautiful baby in the world yeah ni toluche kaboy one year old now Shawania. Na ni mwana pia uko na kadem kasupu. So Anaitwa Mara. Sasa Luche na Mara wakutani wako friends. Yes, yes, yes. Does Luche love music? Eh, yeah, sana. I have like I'll show you some videos of him like playing on beat. You know like most people will say hapa ah, ana mtu anachocha mjuni mtoe wake. Wait, playing what? Playing keys like hajuche ni anacheza but like iko iko on time. Yeah. So Luce is already playing the keys. Yes. Not like playing playing but his musical. Na ukicheza ukieka muziki uh anaanza tu ku dance. Jizo ameenda iskesha for for Easter. So the mom was telling me uh wase wanaacha kuimba. Ako le Jana taka what we endele. Doesn't want the music to stop. So music baby, you know, you can't blame him is around Motoria and the mom also and you guys are musicians. So congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations as well. Asante sana. Now that the album is out, um you know, we are very happy. Thank you so much. Tumekuwa tukingoja since Divin, uka to promise, uka to promise. Paka finally something has come. Uh what videos are you going to shoot of this project? There's already a love song that's out. It's going to be coffee and bread and I've decided I've not decided on the other one but most of is a project that are for visualizers yeah because I've done a tally of like I maybe me fanya tally na the wrong people not the wrong people but like with not wrong but me wase wenye wana skiza kusikiza muziki uh the feedback I'm getting is they like the words and you know it's more about what the words mean mean to them so I also want to focus on that and have like lyric videos visualizers so that people can just focus on the music as well eh uh, tukingoja you know ku toa zile ma projects za 20 mic music video 20 mic but there's this EP happiness please check it out on all streaming platforms is going to be an album coming out as well there is an ep we've done with men soul that we're going to release later oh kuna makola bozingine noma kuna ngoma tumefanya na dj mura 
inaitwa Let Go check it out on all streaming platforms as well kuna ngoma tumefanya na Sero inaitwa Hold on to the faith um that's already out that's already. i think I, i i i saw that yes yes that's already out and kuna ma collabs mo pia na nataka pia kufanya ma collabs mingi tumefanya collab na Billy Black we had done a song with Nelfri before he passed away there's a really cross what cross happened cross. to him by the way um ilikuwa what do you call it he got he got a stroke a stroke yeah and at a young age a young age i think he had not been eating well and eh it's been a kwanga so sudden it's just like Oh. Yeah. But I'm grateful there yeah, that we had recorded like music with him. We're also going to release to record, record a full album of like 14 tracks. So we're planning to release that on December 9th this year, which is his birthday. Eh uh, tumechukua project kama kama band because he was part of our band. Poleni, poleni sana. Tunapo. Eh so tuta kuipa our all. So nilikuwa naambia Don Don the Black kuna muziki ya this year mob so next year tu ndio hatuna muziki but this year eh hey, you guys are sorted yeah, yeah. yeah so one last question before um i wrap up to all the young people watching you know and wondering you know how do i get in music how do i get in playing how do i meet all these artists how do i start to produce my song how do i even put up an ep or an album How do I get myself out there? How do I get a name for for myself? Like what's the shortest advice you could give them because it's not been one specific thing for you, but I feel like you've been living your truth, um working on your art and craft for a very long time. But um what kind of advice would you give them? What has worked for me was um talking to people and being in places where vitu zina happen, constantly working on your art. So constantly rehearse constantly go and see what other people are performing in their shows um kitu kingine pia naonanga na solo walikuwa pia very keen on oh nani anatoa nini like we say wana bn would say be a student of life yes there you go there you go so be a student of life na pia usikue mgumu ati ukipe advice u uchukui even if you don't follow it just you know just listen consistency just beats beats all thank you so much motoria you're such a dope artist feel kama ni sawa tumaliza mungu kuna kitu atakusema kuna kitu inakusumbua sana roho ama si lazima iko inakusumbua kuna tu kitu nataka kusema ah nataka tu kutuma salamu kwa watu wangu wa kimende mnanishikilianga sana Yeah. Are you really from Kimende am I your joke? Kimende but it started as a joke. Hawako oh. wanajua. Walisema tu a random place. I'm I'm sorry but where is Kimende? Um, okay. I hope Kimende people are not pissed. Haya, unaona ukienda hivi unajua Limuru. Ukipita Limuru kuna view point. Okay. Unaona yeah. view point penye iko. Yes. Now the next town after view point it's called Kimende. The ones with the beautiful trees. Yes. Exactly. Actually, easy man nini zinaitwa easy man Kirita Forest in Kokoso Sakimende. Well, you see wow. those zip lining there. Kimende. Tuko. <laughs> Representing Kimende Massive way. Hey, lakini sahi na karo example. But Kimende Massive. Asante sana Mutoria. Shout out to the Kimende people watching. Molo people watching. Hata mimi I represent my hood. Hey, yeah. Really? Molo. Really? Hey, one and raised sana sana sana. Katu Kimende. But we have the best molo lamp in the country. Unajua hivyo mojui? Siko anajua. Siko anajua. But nitaanza kufanya one of the things nitafanya. So mimi zile vitu nafanya nitazunguka the country nikijam. Na chiki zile jam session mimi ufanya. Nitazunguka tu nikionyesha na sceneries. The content by there is very fresh. I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Kiche kuna ideas mingi. So naomba tu yani Mungu anipe the grace and the right people to bring them out. Thank you so much Motoria. Have a good one. All the best with everything you do and um you all keep streaming this album. Yeah 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 yeah. Also I have a recording of Anyoko PR akitupea talk on like kwa publicist. 
Ni when, and when was this Zamani? This was 2014. This was recorded in 2014. Hata akumbuki akini meet but alikuja akatupea talk tukiwa Saudi Academy which I've sent to so many artists when you start out and ime tusaidia yeah that alongside another recording I did for Marek even she became and talked talked about money even imagine <laughs>